What's up, Wetlings? Welcome back to these. <laughs> Welcome back to this video. What's up, Wetlings? Welcome back to another video. So the Met Gala 2017 just happened. This year's theme was Come de Garçon. I'm not sure how you say that. I was shit at French when I did it in school. But anyway, it's kind of a tribute to a Japanese designer. I forget the name. I, I don't know much about fashion these days. I used to back when I was in uni. Now I just stopped giving a fuck. <laughs> But anyway, I'm just going to look at the major red carpet arrivals, react to them. I haven't seen anything on the internet. I have tried to stay away and make this video as quickly as I possibly can before they just start showing up on my timeline just randomly. So um, let's get on to the review. I'm also trying to keep a low profile. I'm not going to be as loud as I usually am because I have a shitty sore throat right now and I don't feel like I can, I can talk for ages on end and I feel like that's what I'm doing so I'm just going to get to the video. Rihanna, a uh, girl. I feel like this is kind of a continuation from the looking glass bit and I think that's the last time she attended the Met. I prefer that look to this one and I'm not specifically saying that I hate this one I just don't know how I feel about it yet. I feel like it's one of those things that, that can go either way. One minute it looks bad, the next it looks super good and it's just because it's weird AF and I don't know. I just don't think it's my aesthetic 100%. Not that it's bad, it's just not as fabulous as I expected her to be. Tell a tenant, I don't know who that is, but this look looks like trash. It looks like one of those 15th century dresses that people would wear. It, is it even velvet? Like who the fuck wears velvet? It's so disgusting. The color is horrible. The hair is horrible. She looks like she just got out of the shower. Her shoes don't even complement the outfit at all. Her fishnet stockings are trash. Tragic. Diplo, um, I feel like it's very hard for guys to stand out on red carpets, unless you're Pharrell. That being said, this looks a little bit basic to me. I feel like it looks like... <laughs> Avale. <laughs> Quavo and Migos posing for the cameras. I thought Quavo was part of Migos. Why would you write Quavo and Migos? I don't like when guys do suits on the red carpet. I feel like everybody does a suit and we expect suits. We want to see something different. That being said, I like the accessories. They really do stand for who they are and the glasses. If it wasn't for the accessories, I don't think these looks would be outstanding at all. Caroline Kennedy. Ah. <laughs> This is tragic. I don't know what the fuck is going on. She looks like she's wearing a collection of cardboard boxes. And what saddens me mostly is that she's a US ambassador to Japan. She looks like a painter. I don't like the roses. I've never liked flowers on clothes. I think it's completely horrendous and tacky to have clothes on flowers. To have flowers on clothes. Uh, the shoe, the shoe is horrible. I, I don't get it. Her makeup is so underwhelming. She doesn't have accessories, which could be a good thing because I feel like accessories on this outfit would be complete trash. Bella Hadid, nearly naked in sheer Alexander White. This is amazing. It's, it's, <laughs> it's so minimal. It's refreshing. It's beautiful. I mean, and I've never really liked Bella as a person since. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, but I feel like she's going into like a really, really cool, dark supermodel with this goth theme going. She looks bomb AF. Celine Dion. My god. I feel like the dress looks like a trash bag. It just looks like a collection of trash bags put together. And I, I, I really, I, I don't get how, I don't like how it looks. I, I don't even know how to criticize this. It just looks a mess to me. I don't like this deconstructed bra thing going. It, it just looks out. It's triggering my OCD right now. I don't like how it looks. Madonna, basic in camouflage. More trash bags on the hands. I feel like everyone tonight is wearing trash bags. And I don't like this leaf foliage cape she has with the camouflage dress. It, it's just truly horrendous. And it's so sad to see that it's Moschino because she's a Sarah Paulson looking like a creepy Barbie doll. I don't get those hands. I don't get the feet. I don't get that buff thing going. Right now looking at her, I would say the only thing that looks good about this look is the makeup. The dress, however, is an American horror story on its own. Moving on. Zendaya, I think this look is amazing. I love absolutely that she's wearing her hair like this to just remind the world that she's black. <clears throat> Juliana Rancic. <clears throat> and I also love that she doesn't have a overwhelming accessory. Brie Larson um, in Chanel or Couture. Tragedy. This is so ugly. She looks like she was dipped in gold and then they forgot the part, the half part. I can't even criticize this. It's so ugly to look at. I'm getting confused. Moving on. Lily Rose Depp. I don't know. Pink 
to me, I feel like it's such a hard color to pull off on the that person standing right behind her. Now that's what you add to the meta. But the person standing behind her was Cara Delevingne. Now this, this is a look I can stand for. I love the hair. I love the makeup. I love the brow. I love the outfit so much. Who designed this? This is Chanel Haute Couture. It's weird that the same fashion house that made the mess that is Brie Larson's dress made this spectacle that is Cara Delevingne's look. It's amazing. I love the whole silver thing she has going on. It's so pretty. It makes me want to be her right now. Julianne Moore looks a hot mess. She looks like a flower that was trampled on by many elephants. She looks like she's trying to hold on to her youth as much as she can and it doesn't come off as cute. I hate fringes and to imagine fringes on a whole entire dress is just so disgusting to me. Bass! Isabel Hubert, I don't know who that is, but she looks a mess. She looks a goth mess. I don't get this outfit. I hate the hat. I hate the makeup. She looks like she just turned up to her dead billionaire ex-husband's funeral to claim all the money and all the assets and she doesn't have a care in the world. A mess. Ruth Negger. I think for once Ruth Negger looks kind of cute. She always is so disappointing on red carpet. It's not bad. It's not good either. It's just average and I don't mind it. Mary J. Blige looks like a fucking sex dream. She is hot and I mean this is how you hold on to your youth Julian Moore and that leg. That leg is completely flawless. How old is this woman again? Because she hasn't cracked one bit. Gwyneth Paltrow, basic as always. What's new? Next. Kim Kardashian. Ah, uh, I mean, this is kind of cute. I like that she doesn't have any accessories at all. I love the hair. I love the makeup. Not so much the dress. It's super underwhelming. It's so boring. Blake Lively. I feel like Blake looks like a peacock goddess. JLo in Valentino looks like she's wearing an expensive mosquito net. The makeup is good though, with that Ariana Grande hair. Nicki Minaj. Yes! I feel like this is definitely my favorite look of the night. She's serving me mother of dragons realness. She's wearing this signature Targaryen red and black colors, which is completely making my day. Now this is how you show up to a fucking Met Gala. Solange looks a mess. Solange in this ice skating shoe looks a mess. Solange in this bomber jacket dress looks a mess. She looks like that Michelin man if he was black. She also looks like she's wearing trash, by the way. There was a lot of trash bags going on tonight. Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen, these two, they look like they're on a gothic movie set somewhere in the south of France acting as rich heiresses who are being haunted by the spirit of their dead grandmother who in turn possesses them because this is some old people shit. Like these girls are rich, why don't they ever look normal on the red carpet? N not normal, not normal. You don't have to look normal, just look good. Tracy Ellis Ross, phenomenal. I think this is my favorite look of the night. It's gorgeous. She looks good, her hair looks good, her makeup looks good, the dress is phenomenal. Now I want to know the designer. It's actually by Comet the Garçon, the Japanese designer who's being honored this night. The shoes are amazing, the clutch bag is amazing, everything about this look is 100% fire. I think, and I feel like I'll be attacked in the comments for this, that she looks even better than Rihanna. Jaden Smith, I'm so glad he didn't wear a fucking tuxedo. He looks good, he looks polished. I love his shoes, I love his coat, I love everything about this look. I don't so much love the hair. I think wearing your hair as an accessory to an event is a very bizarre thing to do. But then again, that's why we love Jaden and Willow Smith, because they're very bizarre children. Pharrell and wife Helen. Whew. I don't know why Helen always looks so fucking weird on the red carpet. I fucking hate her shoes. I despise her shoes. Those are tragic shoes. Those are, those are, what the fuck are those shoes? What? Uh, the bodysuit, on the other hand, looks like she's wearing a pink sumo fat suit, which I'm not here for. I don't care for the makeup, I don't care for the hair. She looks a mess, we can just cut her out of the picture. Pharrell, I like the jacket and I like the Dr. Martin shoes and that's about it. Donatella Versace and Kendall Jenner, I mean Kylie Jenner. What's the difference at this point? Donatella looks really nice. Another exhibit of how you hold on to youth. Julian Moore. Donatella looks way better than Kendall in this picture, I must say. And this is one of the few red carpets that Donatella does not look hot tragedy. Kylie just looks like Kylie. I mean, we've seen this countless times before. I feel like she didn't even bother. Anna Wintour looking a mess as always. 
I don't know why nobody ever drags this woman. Like, what the fuck? I, I, don't, don't give me that bullshit about her being an old lady and trying. Because Donatella is as old as the hills and she upstaged even Kylie Jenner. So Anna Wintour can do something different, starting with that hair that she's worn for the last one million years. I feel like this dress is terrible. So that's my Met Gala 2017 fashion review. We had a, a lot of hits and we also had a lot of misses. My top three looks were number three, Nicki Minaj, number two, Cara Delevingne, and number one, Tracy Ellis Ross. I feel like Rihanna will grow on me, but just not at this point. No, I'm not feeling it yet. So thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. If you're watching me for the first time and you like this video, subscribe. I don't usually do fashion videos, but don't forget to check out my last videos that I've done. And until next time, stay safe and don't be basic. Don't